Now, back in those days, the um, juvenile detention centre system was called the Short Sharp Shock. And the idea behind it, it was government policy that was created, was to get all the worst screws in the country out of every prison and put them all in these young offenders institutes. And to treat uh, juveniles under the age of 17 so badly that they would never want to get involved in crime again. So that involved beating you up from the first minute they see you, shaving your head. It was proper beasting in them DCs. They would like make you bunny hop around the parade square at five in the morning with your bedpack on your back and no shoes and socks on. You had to run everywhere or double time. You had to stand up eating your meals. It was just a nightmare. I thought it was on my own, but I, I quickly looked around and found people from all over the, you know, all over the southeast when they're kids like me. And um, we all ganged together in adversity and, and, and we had one common enemy, which was the screws. So when we were not like, you know, doing our thing, we, we would be talking to each other and, and all we talked about was crime. We were young kids. Of course, there was a lot of TV programs on around that time that, that glorified crime. The Adventures of Robin Hood. At the end of the day, Robin Hood was just an armed robber who hung about in the forest and nicked money off rich people. You know, uh, Jesse James was one of my heroes. He was another bank robber. He was the first man to, to perfect the uh, in through the front door of the bank, him and the Cole Younger gang. They were the first ones to do it in the 1860s. But, um, and these guys, uh, you know, Dick Turpin, they were held out as heroes to us, yet every single one of them was an outlaw and a criminal. So we kind of figured that we wanted to be armed robbers because they were the best, and that was the elite. And, you know, that's where, if you're going to get into a game, you might as well aspire to be the best. So all the kids talked about committing armed robberies, and I met this guy, and uh, when I got out, I went up to North London, and I've got a couple of guns off his brother. I've got a single barrel Stevens shotgun, 1961 with no ammunition and uh, a sawn off a Luger a German Second World War German Luger with a bent barrel with no magazine there was no bullets for it but they'd they done the job they were what I needed and I decided to put together a robbery team and off we went out and committed our first robbery on a record shop you'd have thought after that first robbery that I would never commit a robbery again we planned it minutely we took everything with us we went in and then when we robbed the place there was £10 in there so it was £3.60 odd each or something <laughs> Um, so, and the other two were disappointed, the driver and the other guy who come with me, but I was, I was buzzing because up until then, I'd been tortured by the police, I'd been beaten around by prison officers, adults in uniform were forever be beating me. I was a little skinny kid. And um, the first time I'd done a robbery with a gun in my hand, I suddenly felt as though people were listening to me and they would do what I said, rather than me having to do what everybody else said. So I felt 10 foot tall and it gave me a buzz. And it put the other two up, it never put me off, I just carried on robbing. 1977 at the age of 16 I was arrested for armed robbery, GBH and possession of firearms. And I uh, went up to the Old Bailey uh, with a mate of mine who was a year older than me and uh, pleaded guilty. And um, I ended up with three years detention, Peter ended up with three years YP. What I didn't know was the sentence I was given was called a section 53 paragraph two it was the children and young persons act 1933 and it's the, the actual words of it stated that a child under the age of 17 um, in order to get a section 53 must have committed a crime that in an adult would warrant 14 years imprisonment or more so that's how serious my crime was at the age of 15 and the judge at the old bailey gave me three years but what i didn't know about the sentence unlike my pal sentence because he was older than me I didn't get any remission off. I had to do the whole sentence unless I got parole. And none of my remand time came off either. So I had to do three years, three months. Um, and if I was lucky, I might get a chance at parole somewhere down the line. I think once a year they, they put you up for parole, but nobody ever got it. 